hi guys welcome 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 and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are staying safe if you're new here welcome welcome my name is ayosala the creative director of so unique by me and the content creator of this youtube channel diy with so unique by me and of recent i did announce that this channel is going to be you know doing a little bit of lifestyle a little bit of travel a little bit of helpful tips and of course sewing which is the core of this channel so if that's something that you're interested in definitely definitely consider subscribing and all you need to do is hit the subscribe button right here on your screen as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on the awesome content that i have for you to all my returning subscribers welcome welcome it's good to have you guys back thank you guys so much for sticking with me thank you for the support and thank you for the love guys can you believe that we're at 29,000 subscribers i cannot believe it but i'm so grateful to each and every single one of you because i know that those are not just numbers they're actually human beings who have subscribed and have decided to be a part of this family and i am so honored thank you guys so much thank you for being amazing thank you for being supportive i'd like to apologize for missing out on last week's video um i had a really busy week um and to be honest i have a really busy month i've got tons of coursework however um you know i'm trying to make it work um so yes i would make sure not to skip out on any videos except it is beyond me but i will try as much as possible so in today's video we're going to be showing you guys or i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a headband and it's this one that i'm wearing it's got a little bomb excuse my messy hair so if you guys don't know already i have two videos on how to make um you know headbands one that you guys absolutely really love which is how to make your uh, a scrunchie headband and then the next one is how to make actually i might have three headband tutorials yeah i've got a roving one i've got the scrunchy headband one and i've got like a twisted headband this one which is one of my favorite headbands we made it on the channel i don't know if you guys remember so yeah we got this one so today i'm make, teaching you how to make this one which is like a bow headband very similar process to that one however it is a bit different and i had fun making it guys it's a really quick project so i just thought you know what today is saturday <laughs> guys I'm telling you, I'm filming on Saturday night at um, 10.44, Saturday night. I don't know if you guys can see that, Saturday. So, yeah. Um, I'm like, today is Saturday. I don't have a video for tomorrow. Ooh, what's going to happen? So, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to film a video. So, I literally just finished filming the video for you guys. Um, and I'm like, yep, let me show you guys how to make this headband. I like it. It's really cute. I probably will wear it to work tomorrow. You see? And I used Ankara. However, if you want to use satin, you can use satin. You can use any fabric. So without further ado, we're going to get, you know, into the video. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Hi, guys. To start off, we have the following items. So basically, I've got here my safety pins. We're going to be needing some safety pins to pass the elastic into the elastic casing. I've also got my elastic. I've got the one inch elastic here. So I've got the elastic right here we're going to be using. I've got my tailor's chalk. You can use your fabric marker if you've got one. I've got a pencil here and this is supposed to be my loop toner. So you will need a pencil or a loop toner actually ideally. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors, fabric scissors ideally. However, I've cut up my fabric pieces so I wouldn't really be needing this. You need your measuring tape to take measurements. You need some pins. I've got some pins right here. And like I, I already wrote down the measurements that you require. So you need a couple of um, pieces. The first piece you need would be this piece. And this piece is 15 inches by three and a half inches. This piece is meant for the elastic casing. So as you can see, I said 15 inches, which is just correct by three and a half inches. And this is what we're using for the elastic casing. The second piece you need has to be 16 inches by five. So that's 16 inches, as you can see. And then it goes by five inches, right? And then the third piece you need has to be six inches by 12 inches. So you need three pieces of fabric. I'll put all the measurements that you need in the description bar. So you go ahead and cut up your fabric and you can use any type of fabric. I'm using Ankara and as you can see, I've marked the wrong side of the fabric so that I can tell. 
you can use sateen, you can use any kind of fabric you want to use. So without further ado, we're going to start it. The first thing you want to do is you want to get your elastic casing fabric, which is this one, the piece that is 15 inches by three and a half inches. When you get that, what you want to do is you want to fold it into two, just like so. And you're going to pin it from the top all the way to the bottom. Oops. And we're going to sew it on half an inch sewing allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this in place on half an inch. I'll sew this in place on half an inch starting from here all the way to the bottom and I'll come back to you guys. All right guys, so here are the pieces and as you can see, I went ahead to sew on half inch sewing allowance using my um, sewing machine. So we're going to basically repeat the same thing for all these pieces. But one thing I wanted to come on and show you is for this one. Now, if you notice on this piece that is 12 inches by six inches, I went ahead to iron on some air stay and this is so that it can make it a bit thicker and so that it can hold and so our bow can hold. So you're going to basically fold this into two as well pin all the, not that way sorry guys you're going to fold this like this way right and for this one it's interesting because you're going to sew it all around now you don't want to fold it this way you want to fold it so it's like a box right because this is what is going to give us our bow okay so you want to fold it so that it's a box right like that and then you want to sew it all around so you're going to go ahead and sew this all around the edges but when you sew it um, I'm going to explain so you want to sew this on half an inch starting from here all the way here okay and half an inch starting from here all the way here then when you get here you want to leave a gap of about one and a half inches on sewn right so basically that means you sew from here all the way to this tip Put your needle in and then turn the fabric and sew here lock your stitch come here start again put your needle in turn the fabric and sew all the way down right after you do that then you're gonna have to do this one obviously this is the wrong side so on this one we're gonna have it this way as well okay and then we're gonna sew this from here to here all through so we're going to go ahead and do all the sewing and I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys. So at this point, we have all our three pieces and we've gone ahead to sew this. As I said, half an inch here, half an inch here. And here we sewed it all around and then left one and a half inches on sewn. So I'm just going to ahead to, you know, just cut up the thread right here. It's always nice to snip off the edges so that it's, you know, smooth and sleek. So as you can see. Where you have the edges just trim it off and this just allows it to form nicely and we're just going to turn all of them inside out All right guys, so at this point, I'm gonna head to turn all three. I'm gonna quickly iron it. And then you're also going to need one more piece. Now for the last piece is what you're going to use to you is what you are going to need to use to tie the bow onto the main thing. And I would just say you need a small piece, say approximately about one and a half inches by seven or six. You probably don't need that much. Um, but that's what I just cut out now. And the essence of this piece is so that you have enough to pipe, right? And over time, if you've been on my channel for a while, I have talked about piping, which is when you fold one side this way. So obviously this is the right side, this is the wrong. So you fold it towards the wrong side, you fold it towards the wrong side, and then you fold it over and sew it 
top stitch it okay so we'll come back to that i'm going to quickly iron those and come back all right guys these are all the pieces that i have here as you can see this was the piece that was 12 and a half inches by six and as you can see remember i told you to sew it all around and then we top stitched here close so that's the stitch there and this is what is going to be our bow this was the piece that i said to cut one and a half inches by six or seven inches that i said we're going to pipe and this is it after piping it this is the um the 15 and a half by three inch three and a half 15 by three and a half inch strip which will be the elastic casing and as you can see when i ironed it i made sure that the seam was in the middle and same thing for the 16 and a half by five inch strip the seam is in the middle so i'm going to get right into business the next thing you want to do is you want to get your elastic band and you want to cut out a piece that is about six and a half to seven inches i would say six and a half is just appropriate so here's your six and a half right there cut out six and a half which is that i'm going to put your the rest of the elastic band away Guys, I need to get a pin cushion because tell me why I put my needle on my elastic band. But yeah, that's that. So now that I have this piece that is six and a half inches, we're going to feed it into the elastic casing. So you need your safety pin. I'm going to get one of the big pins right here. So I'll get one of those. Get my safety pin and attach that to the end of my elastic. After that, you want to get the elastic casing, which is this one, and you basically just want to feed it into it, just like so. If you haven't seen my other videos on how to make your headband, please go ahead and watch it. They're very detailed, and you guys especially love the one of the statement headband, which is like the scrunchy headband. So go ahead and you know catch up. Now, when the elastic starts to disappear. You want to hold it just like that make sure it's at the tip just like so and you're gonna pin it into place so it doesn't disappear so I've pinned it a couple of times and it's strong so you're gonna go ahead and keep feeding this till it comes back on the other side So when you're done, you take out the safety pin and you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pin this in place. So guys, this is what you should have now. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this in place so the elastic doesn't disappear and do that on the other end as well. And I'll come back to you guys. After sewing it in place, this is what it looks like. As you can see, I sewed it in place at both ends. So it looks nice and that's what it looks like so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our bow on so for the bow you want to just go ahead and just pleat this nothing fancy you know depending on how big you want your pleats but yeah you want to go ahead and pleat this and then you want to decide where you want to put this on your um you know on there so there are two ways you can either you know do it all at once like that but what will happen is where you have the bow you would have a fold right on your headband just right there which is you know not too bad i don't mind that which is what i plan on doing so you take your pleated bow two things you decide where you want it right take your pleated bow put it right there where you want it take your strip and put it over it like that and we're just going to squeeze the whole thing together okay squeeze the whole thing together now when you're done you want to hold it as tightly as possible if you prefer you can hand sew it if not you can machine sew it i'm just going to go ahead and machine sew this as tight as possible and come back to you guys all right guys so like i said you want to sew this as tight as possible to the end um yeah but basically you want to make sure that it is where you want it so i think i have cut mine <laughs> in with the fabric just a little bit um but yeah i'm pretty much okay with it i'm going to try and loosen up where i've cut with the fabric just a little bit 
I've sewn it with the fabric. Yep, which I shouldn't have. So now it's fine. So now after doing that, what you want to do is you want to cut off the excess. So I'll say cut off that much. And then we're gonna turn this inside out. Now it is tight, but that just helps you to conceal, you know, whatever rough part you have. And also, it allows it to move freely so you can actually move this if you need to so go ahead and arrange this All right guys, so at this point, this is what we have. If you want your bowl bigger, you can definitely go for bigger, but this is an appropriate size of bowl. You know, this is what we have. Like I said, if you want it bigger, you can go for bigger, but I'll say if you're trying to keep it like, you know, cheek, maybe, you know, just keep it this size with the measurements that I've provided. So guys, this is what it's looking like so far. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and place this. So you want to place this so that the right sides are facing each other. Go like that, go like that. And we're going to go ahead and, you know, sew it. So again, you want to place the main band and then the elastic casing, pin it on each other in the center, right? make sure the right sides are facing each other and then you fold this over and fold this over like a sandwich and you're going to sew that in place okay so i'll do it one more time you take that that's the right side so we're assuming this is the wrong side with the seam same thing for here place this on each other if you need to pin please go ahead and pin i always encourage it and then wrap the end just like a sandwich and then sew it in place so i'm going to go ahead and do that for both sides and come back to you guys if your head is smaller 16 inches might be too long so definitely adjust that based on your head requirement all right guys so at this point here's what it looks like as you can see i wrapped that around and i just you know went ahead to stitch it over um for me i must say that i reduced mine by about an inch because i found out that it was actually too big so the ideal measurement to use for um this part would be 15 inches or 14 inches by five as opposed to um, 16 inches by five but yeah guys this is basically what the headband looks like at this point the headband is all ready to go if I put it on here flat that's what it looks like so basically that's how the headband is you know wired very nice the bow is flexible so it can move around if you need it to you know you just want to move it based on what you require I'm quite happy with it being off center. So guys, we've come to the very end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was worth your while. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Leave your comments, suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. Thank you so much guys for being awesome. I will see you in my next video. Bye.